Hello and welcome to sunny Mumbai. We've driven down to Code 6 authorized reseller here in Mumbai, which is Mates and Mods, to cover a pretty exclusive build for you guys. This is a VW Tygoon and we think it is arguably India's first ever VW Tygoon stage 2 build. Welcome to the Drivers Up. My name is Bhavni Daswani and you're watching Project Tygoon. So as you might have seen a couple of videos prior, we actually went in depth and spoke about how this MQB A0 India platform is still not tunable. But three days ago, uh, we actually got the news that the 1 liter TSI engine in this MQB platform has started getting unlocked and people have started tuning them too. So we have just rushed to Code 6 Mumbai and uh, gotten the chance to actually film the entire build so we are going to be actually having three episodes of this build series one where we handle the inlet pipe the air intake and mainly all of the intake part of it the next episode is going to be having the downpipe and the remap set to it and the last episode we are going to be actually taking it for a dyno run and seeing what it actually pushes so i'm super excited let's stop talking and let's start working So we have just put the car up on the lift, we are taking the wheels off and sending them off uh, to get painted. Uh, weirdly, you need to remove the subframe for this car and then remove the downpipe. The downpipe will not be fitted in this episode but uh, we are removing the downpipe now and what we are going to be doing is we are going to be putting the inlet pipe, the air intake and the air channel in this episode. So let's get cracking. So we gotta come clean a little bit. The car is not completely stock as uh, we have come to see it. The air uh, intake, the air channel has already been worked on and there have been a couple of air pipes already changed. Now, in the Kushak and in the Tygoon, you get this long air box that is in the front, but this is exactly the one that you get in Europe or abroad. And uh, you get a cold air flap over here and only two pores of the grill are open. Now, all five of the pores are open and the air intake has more inlets uh, inside the channel, inside this box for it to take even more air. Now, there used to be a flap over here that used to open at slow speeds or uh, actually close at slow speeds so that it becomes a cold, uh, cold air intake. But uh, now it has been completely sealed shut so that it is on optimum flow all of the time. So, as you can see behind the block, there is a small red pipe that is the inlet pipe and in the stock one, there used to be a little bit of holes here and there and it used to be like a porous pipe that uh, would give you a little bit of drama when you used to let off the throttle and make a fake kind of blow off valve noise. Now that has been replaced with something that's completely free flow that lets you actually enjoy most of the power all of the time and this stuff can be done in your stock car too so if you just want to work on it and get a little bit better response this definitely will work okay so we have a stock unworked on uh, air channel of a tygoon and this is the one that has been worked on this is still a stock piece but it has been worked on as you can see there are two channels it has been made even bigger over here and uh, you've also shut sealed the uh, little flap that opens up at high speeds as you can see right here it opens up at high speeds and basically just i don't know why it opens up at high speeds and then doesn't let the air go into the block so this is solved with a little bit of white silicon it's white silicon now because we wanted to use it for filming purposes so that you can see but otherwise you can just put black silicon and it's going to be absolutely invisible like nobody's going to even realize that you've done it this is really ingenious and i mean uh, if you don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money in like an air filter or an air box or an air intake this is actually really genius you can do this at home as long as you know what you're doing so what I've got in my hand is one is a custom inlet pipe and this one is 
the stock inlet pipe of the Tygoon. Now, as you can see, this is made of plastic and this one is actually machined out of metal. So, what this uh, does is actually take in air and shove it into the engine and you get PCV oil sometimes through the channel, all cars do it and that's why you have this little chamber underneath that uh, would be able to catch in some of that oil but it's not detrimental for the engine which is why this has a catch can or delete and also the stock inlet pipe has a couple of slits through the entire pipe which might interfere with the free flow that you want from a performance car and that's where this comes into play this is slightly heavier but when it comes to weighing down these and the difference between the weight of these two that doesn't make a difference at all actually the free flow and the lack of all of these uh, slits that would just stop the air in from going all the way in this is much better Now before we left the workshop, we decided to see if we could mess around with Soham's Kushak and unlock some features of the 1 litre TSI. To our bad luck, we were not recording any audio, so you are seeing the slow-mo of us talking. But we did unlock a few features like the lap timer and the needle sweep. If you're interested in getting such features unlocked for your 1 litre TSI or even any Volkswagen and R in Mumbai, do hit up code 6 at Mates and Mods and they will definitely help you out. So that's the end of episode 1, we are done with the air intake, the channel and the inlet pipe. All of you guys must be really excited to finally be able to see what the proper proper potential of this 1 litre TSI is, as am I. And uncle, Surender uncle, please don't worry, the warranty is still not voided, you can still take this to the showroom and nothing is gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching, see you guys during the downpipe fitment and the remap.